Good morning, it's Monday, June 13th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, How a Healthy Body Works. And our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes, Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new doctrine. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. The obvious key to a healthy body is when all the parts are handling well their specific function in concert with all the other parts. It is so with the heart pumping blood to the organs and the spleen doing its filtering job and the lungs providing oxygen to the brain which in turn sends the right impulses to all the muscles and on it pulses 37 million times a year, give or take a few hundred thousand, depending on your metabolism. Well, the kicker to this scenario is when any body part is infected, diseased, or injured, or just plain not responding. It can set off a falling domino effect where all the parts begin to lose effectiveness and finally shut down dead, as it were, in the water. There are so many parallels that can be seen in the physical or biological aspects of life which reflect spiritual truths. One such comparison is the body's interdependence. All of the parts doing their respective jobs results in a healthy, growing body. Evangelists, pastors, and teachers might be compared to the nervous system, receiving messages from the brain, which is God's will and word, sending appropriately timed signals to alert muscles and organs to needs of both the body and outside influences which need to be addressed. The parts of the body receiving those messages are comparable to those members with gifts, strength, mobility, dexterity to accomplish tasks which facilitate the body's health and growth. When everything is working like a well-oiled biological-slash-spiritual machine, there's a health that produces well-being. The church, in Paul's metaphorical approach here, is the body of Christ. We are his hands, his feet, and heart, We're doing the will of God in his mission to the world. In the grand scheme of things, God chose to do it this way. He is omnipotent, meaning that whatever power can accomplish is within God's ability. He could have chosen to make us robots, mechanical, always doing the right thing, never a sniff of rebellion or hair out of place. But love chose differently. God chose to share his way, his life, with us. To do that, he chose to come to be with us, to dwell in us, and to share all like a body shares, both joy, pain, loss, and strength. It isn't an easy thing, this life. It never will be, but it's worth it. For you today, what part of the body are you? Are you listening and watching for the signals coming from God's Word? Are you corresponding to the rest of the body's needs and strengths? Do you make the body of Christ healthier? Do you tend to His world, His mission? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.